Greetings and welcome to this thing I like to call whatever the scum this is that you and I do here. Hey, something ever surprise you like when you see Tegala war? In the months leading up to Roger Khan's return to Ghana, we've heard that the file on him was never closed. And when he returns, he will be processed and whatever charges the police have for him will be laid. I suspected that the police didn't have one stunt whole piece of evidence and that they were scrambling to get something to hold him on. And the police have continuously been doing their work on Mr. Khan. The file was never left closed. And um, when he comes in to the country, he's obviously going to be processed. And uh, uh, that is as far as I can say at this stage. As to whether the police will find charges against him, I think that will be at that moment, will be known. But at this stage, as far as I know, um, we don't know about that at all. There's just something about this man. We can't seem to see eye to eye on nothing. Anyways, just as I'd predicted, Roger Khan returned to Guyana and was held for questioning for a few days, then released. My issue with this whole thing is that Khan served time in the USA for drug trafficking. And you are here making claims that he is linked to various crimes committed here. You've had many years to gather evidence and build a case against him. And if you knew there was nothing to hold him on, then you should not have been bringing up the hopes of the persons who were affected by his alleged actions. President David Granger himself can't believe it, and you can hear the shame in his voice in this interview. Putting a charge before Mr. Khan, or holding him on a charge, and secondly, a uh, commission of inquiry. Uh, a previous uh, commissioner of police, and earlier, at some time, uh, not too long ago, uh, in relation to another massacre, um, had mentioned that all of the witnesses were, were killed. I found that very difficult to believe that there had been a methodical elimination of all witnesses to some of those 12 massacres that occurred during the Troubles. In the meanwhile, Jagdio continues to distance himself from Khan. Roger Khan put out several ads, as I remember. What about those ads where he said that they were funding the bandits and creating the reign of terror, PNC? And second, so you can't believe conveniently. And secondly, we're not afraid of Roger Khan's release because we had nothing to do with Roger Khan. And if, if he's released and he's, he did crime in Guyana, he must face the consequences too. Talking about how the evidence presented in a U.S. court that claimed his then Minister of Health, Leslie Ramsamy, authorized the purchase and importation of sophisticated cell phone intercept equipment has never been proven with official testimony. That has never been proven with official testimony. Which, yeah, but, but that has never been proven. Leslie Ramsamy said he never did. Maybe, instead of these barefaced lies, the PPP could just come forward and admit certain things and apologize like Canada's Prime Minister who just got re-elected. Anyways, if y'all ain't got nothing on Ken, take several seats and shut y'all scunts. And Ken, if you're listening, I still need that interview. Folks need to hear from you. You're free now, so stop hiding like a rat. Quick note before I go. My brethren Squashy sends out his appreciation to all who braved the rain and supported his boat ride. Stay tuned for the appreciation dance. Enough love. My name is Mudwato. Boom out. Hold up.